Turns out yesterday's historic landing on a comet was a combination of engineering genius and plain dumb luck. Today we learned that the European spacecraft bounced high off the comet out of control and then fell back down landing on its feet, but not exactly where they wanted it. Charlie Daggett is at Mission Control in Germany. These are the first pictures ever taken from the surface of a comet. Philae snapped the 360-degree view from its stark and jagged new home. But imaging expert Jean-Pierre Biebring said Philae missed its target landing and is now resting in the shadow of a cliff. We sort of get close to the place where we are, where we think we are, which is not very close to the one we wanted to, but not very far away. After a 10-year chase around the solar system, Philae landed on the comet Wednesday in a cosmic first. But the lander didn't stick to the surface. Project manager Stefan Ulemeg told us Philae bounced off twice. The first bounce was a huge leap, and then there was a second smaller one for about six minutes. So the first one was two hours. Wow. A bit less, yeah. The comet's weak gravity meant the 220-pound lander, about the size of a dishwasher, drifted off into space, floating about a mile above the comet. Amazingly, it settled back only about a mile from its intended target. Philae was meant to be secured by two harpoons fired into the icy surface of the comet, but they didn't work. Are you still considering firing the harpoons to anchor? Uh, I wouldn't dare to do this in the next time because the harpoons could, could trigger so much inertia that, that we may even push away the land. If they work perfectly, good, but this needs some more thought. And there is another concern, Scott. The Philae relies on its solar panels to recharge its batteries in order to run its instruments. But because it came to rest in the shadow of a cliff, it's not getting enough sunlight to do that. And it's unclear how long it can survive. Charlie Daggett reporting from Darmstadt, Germany for us tonight. Charlie, thank you.